this is great this is so exciting I love getting up in the morning because I really enjoy a big delicious dinner and I set out my dinner last night so it's ready to go look I've got the tray set I cooked up my all-time favorite asparagus with broccoli and a huge roasted chicken yeah buddy oh man it's gonna be good but first my morning exercises we start with the sit downs ready <laughs> that's one two I'm killing it and the push downs oh man all right feeling good now and I, oh <laughs> I can't go to school in my jammies gotta get dressed so here we go I got my hat <laughs> Better. Oh, and my pants. Better. And my coat. Ready for school and a delicious dinner. I got to get all set up, have my dinner, and I'm going. Whoa! Is that the time? Oh man, I gotta hurry or I might be early! So, uh, you know what? I'll just clean up. We'll have this later. Uh, oh, you know what? Here's how I like to clean up. I've always wanted to try this. Three, two, one. Ha! Oh! It worked! It worked! Everything's on the table! Nice. But hey, remember, I'm a trained professional, so nobody and none of you should try something as difficult as that. Well, have a great day, everybody. I'll see you earlier. Hello! Uh, Nora? Um, why is Greg eating dinner in the morning? He was? Yeah, yeah. And why do you always wear your hat backwards? I do. <laughs> you are so <laughs> silly. <laughs> I know. Sometimes it's just really fun to do things differently, don't you think? Oh, yeah, it is. Hey, I have an idea. And what is that? Wouldn't it be fun if we had a backwards day? <gasps> Ooh, I think that would be great. But does everybody know what backwards means? Oh, I, I do, I do. Can you tell the boys and girls? Sure, sure. Uh, uh well, uh, it's sort of... I know, let's let the professor tell us. Oh, Professor! The uh, professor here. Well, Rascal, I can understand why it was hard to come up with what backwards is because it's a word that has a lot of meaning to it. Before we can talk about backwards, though, we have to understand a couple things. Let's talk about front and back. This is your front. And this is your back. When things are moving or facing frontwards, it's called forwards. And when things are moving or facing backwards or to your back, it's called backwards. Let's see it in action. show you something that faces forwards. <laughs> I've got it just like Nora. <laughs> I have a hat. Forwards. Backwards.
first that's backwards, of course. And have you ever heard of cart before the horse? One thing's the same, though, yes, I have found. Downside up is still upside down. Toe heel, toe heel, toe heel, toe. Bodie ho, bodie ho, bodie ho, do. Toe heel, toe heel, toe heel, toe. Bodie ho, bodie. I made it in time. It's time for school, I think. Yeah, hold on. Let me just get opened up here and get launched up. All right. I'll be excited to get to go back to school in class someday soon. But for now, this is pretty good. Here we go. Okay. All right. So, go. Uh, oh, they're already on there. Hey, Miss Robertson, I'm ready for class. Do, do you like how I look? Nice. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's music class. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I practiced my song. Yeah. Okay, you ready? It's a brand new song nobody's ever heard. Ready? A, B, C, D, E. You've already heard it. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, well, uh, I've been practicing that one. Is that okay? Okay. That's what I get for ripping off the internet. <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, F, G. How I wonder what you are up above the... You're not impressed. No? Okay. Well, I mix those songs up because they sound so much alike. Okay, that was a Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. We'll do that. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P I can't... <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll just... Oh, gotcha. I'm just gonna do a, a different song altogether. Okay, all right. I've been working on this one. We can sing in rounds because if you try to sing on Zoom, that happens anyway. Ready? A ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? H I J K, what you are up above the elemental P. Uh, I know, just letters, only letters. Okay, only letters for the. I got it. Ready? <gasps> Z Y X N W T U V S R Q T O N M L K J I H T M E P C B. Hey. <laughs> yeah! Hey. 
she's not impressed. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let somebody else go. Hi friends! Oh, boy, I'm so excited today because today we're going to be working on some backwards, a backwards game. You get it? Check it out. You see that word right there? That word is written backwards. But if you look carefully and you flip it around, can you guess what the word says? Oh, the word says, that's my sign language sign. Can you guess what it is? Meow. That's right. It's cat. Very, very good. <laughs> Want to try another one? <gasps> Look over here. There's a word over here. Hmm. I want you to see this one's backwards too. I want you to see what it looks like when we flip it around. And I'm going to give you a different clue this time. Watch. This is. Can you guess? How about this? <laughs> or how about in sign language? Everybody do that with me. That's right. Flip it around and see. It's cow. <laughs> Let's try another one. Hmm. Check this one out. What can he be? What is that word over there? Hmm. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Yes. Flip it around. So now the sign for frog. Rip it. Rip it. Ribbit, ribbit. Got it. We got it. one more. This one is three letters. See if you can guess it. I'm going to give you a tint. Oh, come on. You know you have to get that one. Let's flip it around and see. That's right. Pig. Sign for pig. It's like, everybody do that with me. <laughs> Thank you so much, boys and girls. Thank you so much for visiting me in my backwards game. That was really fun doing the sign language and the backwards words. Yeah, I love that. Now we're going to talk about backwards stuff in nature because there's a lot about that. Like the owl can turn his head around to see behind him. And that's because his eyes don't move in their socket. We have a little snowy owl here. And I can't turn it all the way around. He can go one way, and then he can go around the other way to the back. So he can see all around him. Isn't that cool? What is the sign for owl? Oh, the sign for owl is fun, boys and girls. Okay. okay. Owl. Ooh. Owl. Ooh. Neat. I like that. Ooh. It's his eyes. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Now, how about the sign for lizard? I have a lizard here. Lizard's a sign for me. Everybody make an L with me. And just run it right up your arm, just like that lizard does. Ooh. Oh, fun! I love that. Okay, so that's the sign for lizard. This is a fat tail gecko. And now what's cool for him is the back of him looks the same as the front of him. His head and his tail look like a head. Why would you want your tail to look like your head? Well, because if an animal is going to bite him, he wants them to bite the tail. He'll even hold the tail up just like that so that he'll bite it. An animal will bite it. And if you bite a lizard by the tail, the tail breaks off and the lizard runs away. So it helps them to survive for their tail to look like their head. This guy has not lost his tail. And you can see how much bigger it is. And these are called fat tail geckos. Aren't they cool? You want to touch them? They're kind of oh, soft. Do. Yeah, they're oh, really neat. So aren't they? beautiful, boys and girls. I know. So animals try to look backwards and forwards in order to survive. Huh? Huh? Like the owl. Yeah, and the lizard. Hey guys, Eric Energy here in my virtual studios. We're talking about the science of your reflection. And uh, of course, everybody knows that you can see your reflection in a mirror, but why do you see that reflection? What it does is it's bouncing light off of that flat, shiny surface. You're able to see the light that bounces off, but why can't we just see all of the light bouncing off? That's because we've got white light coming out of the regular lights in your room. What we're gonna show you now is a light that only goes in one small spot. This light is it's called a laser. And this laser only goes where I point it, but watch what happens if I just point it towards this mirror right over here. One, two, yo! 
Oh, well, that's just one time. It bounces right off. Remember, with that sh flat, shiny surface, is bouncing the light right onto the ceiling. Then I've got this. It's called a prism. This prism is in the shape of a triangle. They're usually in the shape of a diamond or a crystal. But watch what happens if I just point the laser inside of it. One, two, you! Comes out the side. If I move that prism, it moves the laser wherever it goes. And now, I want to bend it 50 times. In order to bend it 50 times, I'm going to use a prism that's flat. i got a flat prism right here. It's a rainbow peephole. What's going to happen if I just shine the laser through it? One, two, yeah. As you can see, it looks like there's 50 lasers. But there's really only one laser just bent the laser 50 times. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the science of your reflection. It is Juliet here, going to be doing an art piece with you today. I am going to stretch your imagination. I'm going to bring to you something that is going to be a little bit backwards. Oh, yes, because Nora, it was a little bit tricky coming out with something that's arty that is backwards. So I was in my art room and I was thinking to myself, what could I do that's backwards? And so it came to my mind of teaching you a little bit about symmetry symmetry is actually forwards and backwards a little bit like if you put a mirror in between a mirror will actually reflect what's exactly on one side so what is on one side is on the other side and this we call symmetry symmetry is also found in your face if i put a mirror in between my face what is forwards this is backwards what is on this side is on this side exactly and so I thought that I would inspire you with an artist called Heather Hansen. By the way, do you like my Piet Mondrian jumper that my friend Kayla made me? Isn't it just gorgeous? Anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, so Heather Hansen was a performance artist and what she would do is she would use both of her hands and her whole body to create kinetic art. Kinetic art is art that moves and so today you're going to be using your two hands maybe some chalk or maybe you can use a pencil it doesn't matter what you use and a piece of paper and you're going to be following my style of artwork where you're going to create symmetry pop some music on and let your imagination create are you ready to do some art let's go Thank you so much for, for sharing this wild, wacky, wonderful, backwards day. I hope you had a good time. <laughs> and now that it's the end of the day, it's time for a delicious breakfast. That's right. I got me some waffles and I got me some eggs. Got some egg. egg. Hmm. You know, mom always says not to play with your food. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh. I hope you like your eggs crunchy style. <laughs> Gregory, stop playing with your food and go to bed. Man, moms always know. See everybody later. Oh. Hey, Nora. Yes? Can we go back to the way things were now? 
No more backwards? No more backwards. Oh, I guess so. It was fun to do for a little while, though, wasn't it? It was. It was. Toe heel, toe heel, toe heel, toe. The